Today we're going to talk about the new Procreate 5.3 update. This update uses the new Apple Pencil Hover features, which come only in the newest iPad Pro with the M2 chip. So it is a little bit sad that the update is directed mostly towards the new iPad Pro owners, but there is one useful change in the app that anyone can use. Let's start with the gallery. Now when you hover your pencil over the stack, it will expand like this, so you can see more artworks. And if you will hover over the picture in the gallery, it will show the time-lapse. The biggest update in the app is that you can see the preview of your brush like this, hovering over the screen. So now before you touch the screen, you can see the outline of the brush and the color. The same works for the eraser. You can see exactly where you're going to erase before you touch the screen. There are a few settings you can adjust for this hovering. You can go to the Actions menu, go to Preferences, and make sure you will turn on the Brush Cursor. Then you can go to Advanced Cursor Settings, and here you can change the Brush Cursor Visibility and the Brush Outline Style. If you pick here the Spare Brush, you can change the settings in the brush. So this will not be added globally to all the brushes, but you can change it per brush. To do that, you can open the brushes, tap on the brush, go to Apple Pencil, and here at the bottom, you can change those options. There are two new gestures added to the app. While you're hovering, you can change the brush size. So you hover and use your two fingers to make it bigger or smaller, which I think is quite helpful. And then you can change the opacity. And here's where I found it problematic. So while you're hovering, you can just use your finger to change the opacity. But I found it that actually when I'm drawing and I hold it like that, so I'm still hovering, sometimes it will start changing the opacity with my palm, with my finger here, by accident. And I already tried to change the settings, the gesture settings, the palm rejection, but it's still happening, so I don't know, maybe I have to start wearing a glove. Or there's some other setting that I don't know about, and maybe I should change it. So if you know something about it, let me know in the comments. The other new thing in the update that supports the pencil hover is selection tool. Now when you tap here on the freehand option, you will see when you hover where your line will go, where your selection will go. So this will make it more precise and easier to use. And then you will snap to the start point. What I find here quite useful is also expanding the colors in the color palette like this. So it's easier to see what I'm going to pick. And also you'll get this little marker on the sliders here. And the same here for the opacity, for example. So there is that one last thing that I said that can benefit anybody, not only the newest iPad Pro users, it's the color drop option. I'm going to draw some lines first. And now if you want to color those, you can pick a color and drag and drop it in here like this, and then tap here on continue filling. And now easily you can tap on the screen like this to fill in the spaces you want to. You can change the color while doing this, and keep tapping. When you finish, just tap here. And the users of the newest iPad Pro can also do this. Hover your pencil above that color, tap twice, and you get this option here. So it can just make coloring quicker. So these are the new Procreate updates. Let me know what you think about them. I'm quite happy about them, but I'm not sure about that changing opacity with my palm or my finger here by accident. So we'll see if I will be using this or not. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!